Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I've got your forecast for the rest of this Sunday and for the next several days as we conclude October and begin November. Speaking of the phenomenal month of October that we have had, we're the second warmest on record, only surpassed by 1947. At least that's the way it is as of this morning. We'll see what happens with the couple more days that we have left to see where we'll end up, but probably in that slot. At, uh, it's just been crazy warm. The mean temperature, an astonishing plus 7.5 degrees. So we'll have to see what happens in November. If it starts turning cold or colder than average in November, we may be off to a cold and stormy winter. If it turns out milder than average in November, most other years that we've had that happen, having a very warm fall, we tend to have a warm winter too. So more on that as time goes by. In the meantime, let's tell you what the high temperature is going to be today. Right around 63 to about 67 degrees. The coolest will be in some south-facing coastal locations and uh, along some coastal areas this afternoon. But for the most part, it'll be around, I'd say, 66 in Boston. We have a developing storm, and that's taking shape down over the North Carolina area. We have all the energy going in to develop this storm right in here. However, we have a separate system. It's called Tropical Storm Philippe, and it's off the Florida coast over the Bahamas, just north of the Bahamas, and that is going to be moving northeastward very swiftly. At the same time, the upper levels are going to turn around the steering currents and perhaps start pulling the storm towards New England. Instead of it going straight out to sea, it may be pulled in toward New England and may be pulled closer to this storm, and there may be a merging of the two features over New England tonight or tomorrow morning. What does that mean for the game day forecast today at Gillette Stadium as the Patriots take on the Chargers? Well, it looks like we can't rule out rain, but it doesn't look like it's going to be steady rain or long-lasting rain. If it happens, there'll be a passing shower or two, and most of these showers moving pretty quickly. So it rains quick and stops. And uh, looks like the axis of action, for the most part, will be west of the I-95 corridor. But a few renegade showers east of that can't be ruled out, so that's why I would say make sure you have your rain gear handy in case we will need it. Clearly, the tropical downpours and the torrential rain is going to be happening well after the game is over with this afternoon. So looking at the uh, time stamp up here, let's see what goes on. Again, a lot of the action is out to the west, of course. Here's the Boston, the Providence area, and of course, Foxborough in there. So although we can't rule out a shower, I think, again, the heaviest rain out there. Watch what happens tonight. That wall of water just comes right in here and overspreads the region. Now, the other thing is, here's an interesting little twist in this uh, precipitation pattern early tomorrow morning, that may be the signature of Philippe going by and going over outer Cape Cod. Whether it's that close, not sure, but it's going to be pulled in toward New England and may merge with the giant circulation taking place over us. Now, tomorrow morning, there'll still be some leftover showers. It'll still be warm first thing in the morning and still humid, but it's really going to dry out during the day, much drier air in the afternoon. That's when it's going to clear out and become nice and sunny during tomorrow afternoon after some leftover scattered showers in the morning. So the rain is going to be enough to cause a flash flood watch and may be upgraded to a warning by the National Weather Service tonight if some flooding does occur. And most of that would be street flooding and some scattered urban flooding and not river flooding. And just some of the smaller streams will be rising, but that's all we have to be concerned about. We don't have to be concerned about coastal flooding either. The tide is uh, high to tonight in the evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, when, by the time it gets to the strongest winds overnight, we'll be closer to low tide. So consequently, Good news for our coastal friends, we don't have to worry about too much in the way of coastal flooding. Just a minor splash over at some of those shore roads tomorrow morning when the seas will have built up quite a bit. So that's the idea on that. But we do have to be watching out for uh, tree damage, some down branches and limbs, certainly lots of twigs and leaves and uh, pine tree spills and that sort of thing. Uh, littering the roadways and uh, also some trees may come down entirely, some of the weaker trees with the saturated ground. So be prepared for some scattered power outages. With the strongest winds happening overnight tonight and first thing tomorrow morning along the coastal plain, 50 to as high as 70 miles per hour and a few gusts along the coast. And even tomorrow, it's 35 to 50 miles per hour in gusts when the westerly wind takes over. So it looks like one and a half to as much as two and a half inches of rain. It's going to be a really fast moving system. It's not going to be dawdling around. So we're not going to have tremendous amounts of rain like we had in the previous storm. 
and the highest impact will be from the damaging wind gusts and the localized flooding, mainly the street flooding, and no coastal flooding is mentioned, but there will be some scattered thunder and lightning out of this as well. Now, it looks like the seas will be building to some pretty high heights, 15 to 20 feet uh, over the coastal waters. Uh, the waves onshore won't be quite that high, but there will be some bigger waves. Nevertheless, no coastal flooding anticipated. Looking way ahead to trick-or-treat time and Halloween on Tuesday, this storm will be long gone. There will be much less wind by the time we get to trick-or-treat time late in the day. It looks like a light wind around 49 degrees, just a few clouds, and rather ghoulish weather for Halloween, but certainly not stormy weather, that's for sure. And then cool on Wednesday, sunny to partly cloudy, 55. Warming up the second half of the week, it might touch 70 briefly again by Friday with a brief shower. And then the weekend looks to be much colder next weekend with highs in the upper 40s to near 50. You can watch WBZ News tonight at 6.30 and 11 o'clock. You can also catch it at 8 o'clock if you tune into My TV 38. Have a nice rest of the weekend.